So I'm about to make a small little print using PETG and PLA. Elegu PLA. I think this is Sanglu PETG. Um, because you always do hear that they don't stick together, it's not a very good bond. But I've never seen somebody actually test it or make a figure with it. So that's what we're about to do right now. And for that I made this quick little sketch that I am now gonna highlight and rotate around. Revolve around. Like so. And let me finalize that. Let me erase this. And now it's kind of ready to print as I want but I'm gonna give it a little fillet. So it's not so uh, rudimentary. Let's try to... Or, all right, whatever. Oh, I wanted to now. I need to copy it. I need to give it two arms. Now we're gonna go to split body. Come here, choose the body, which is all of this, which is now one body. We're gonna go to select the plane where you want to split it right there, and this will slice right through all of this. Let's go with OK, and now we've sl We've uh, made different bodies now. This is one part, this is one part, this is one part, and this is one part. So we'll have four bodies, unfortunately, because of the arms instead of just two. But it'll be better for testing because we'll have a lower connection here and a higher connection here for the materials. Um, so let me start naming the body parts so we could export them to our slicer and then put them back together in a slicer. That way, we don't know what parts will be the PLA. Probably I'll go PLA in the bottom and PETG on the top. So now that all our parts are labeled, we're going to start importing them to our slicer. And um, we're going to start with the lowest part, the big part. That way when we import them as an additional part of, the, of what I'm making, it won't just add another part, um, not knowing that it's meant to be a part for this, on top of this. With PLA, PG lower body. And it's there. Let's go ahead and get the color right while we're here. It's gonna be the general PLA four. We push four on the keypad. Okay, computer. Once we're here, we don't add the rest through the file menu because we want them to connect to this over this as part of it. So we click right click this, add part to this, load. We search PL and then we look for upper body. not showing let's go with right arm right now I don't know why that one upper body is not showing I have to save it again so we're doing left arm and it's gonna be right there might as well push where's our PLA gonna be or PTG is gonna be three it imports us three let's do it again with the right arm because I saw the right arm are the thing and we'll just do that till we have all the parts now all the parts are there and I'm just gonna go with just the standard 0.2 layer height should be fitting infill and all that um let's slice the plate and look at it okay so believe it or not this is what <laughs> i've always made my customs standard looks like but that's not really really representative of a print it's like four five walls maybe six walls and like heavy on the infill so let's use one of my presets instead because this would not be really representative of something that you would print out especially at uh, two layer height. Okay, so this is more indicative of a real print that is just a normal print not made for strength and stuff. Even though this is good enough too. This is a small print, remember, it's not big. So what you see in the infill is actually pretty smaller. Um, so let's go with that. <coughs> so there we go, it's gonna print on PLA and PETG. Let's see how, let's see what happens. Okay, it started. I think that's the first layer. I'll take a couple of videos as it's going, especially at layer change. And this is the uh, uh, Anacubic Cobra S1, by the way. Well, the combo. So you can print with four colors. I'll link it in the description. Okay, the color change just happened. There's the first layer of the PETG going in. Get a better view. 
No gnat. Can't see if it's even sticking right now or not. So, so far so good. I don't know why it's looking kind of funny. The, the colors are wet though. It almost looks like it's melting off of it. No, I think so far so good. But I'm still gonna flick them. <laughs> See if they fall off or try to make them uh, come apart anyways so the print is done so let's go test it we'll play the thing a little warm <laughs> i think what i'm actually gonna do is follow the thumbnail and thumb flick it it's kind of dark on my desk let's go i guess let's just do it in the carpet or whatever <laughs> i sound like a white girl Okay, let's see. Should I try to take it off first or just do it on the plate? I'm afraid it's gonna... <laughs> uh, let me bend the plate, I don't have... Um... Okay, it's not only out of the plate, um, I also found a camera stand. So, let's test this. <laughs> Funny first thing is you can notice the difference between the PLA and... Uh... Should I just go for it? Should I just flick it? Wait, I need a thumbnail first. Let me take a picture. Okay, we're back. I guess a soft touch first. Soft touch is not bad. <laughs> like I said, I've never seen a video like this, so I don't know how much I can touch it. But yeah, let's just flick it. Let's just go for it. Let's see what happens. Are you all ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, pfft. I was not expecting that. <laughs> All right, that's funny. All right, if you're ready. <laughs> oh, and it's funny that it's like within its layer, not where the actual thing happened. Huh. Isn't that interesting? Look, it's like all oh, a few layers over, not right where the layer change is. Oh, pfft. Okay. First real life world test right here. And now let's test the PLA itself. Dark. Okay, that's definitely. Okay. So now I'm curious. Let me test this piece. Oh, I don't know where it flew. Let me get the other piece and test it by itself. Okay, I found it. So now I'm curious if it's just a PETG that's weak. Because when it first broke off, it was within its layers already. Um, so let's test another layer right here. You ready? Oh, no, it wasn't that. What? So I wonder why it first broke off some layers over it. Weird. Anyways, leave it in the comments. Why do you think that happened? Because it's actually strong. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, anyways, um, yeah, I guess that's the video, guys. I thought the idea was good. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you like the idea. Thank you.